is Tony Perkins, president of the Family Research Council, who has endorsed Tony Perkins. <laughs> who has endorsed Tony Perkins? I, I have. I endorsed this message. <laughs> okay. Before we go any further, and I want to ask you about your endorsement, but before we go any further, would you define evangelicals? Because I'm a Christian, I'm a believer, I'm an Episcopalian. But I don't think I'm an ev I don't think I qualify as an evangelical. Well, do you I? certainly don't sound like a Southern Baptist from Mississippi. But <laughs> that's it. That, that is a technical term, evangelical. There is established criteria. But in a nutshell, it is one who believes that the Word of God, the Bible, is the uh, infallible, inerrant Word of God, and that salvation is by grace through faith in Jesus Christ alone. One must confess their sins, receive forgiveness, mm -hmm. and then walk according to God's Word as it's laid out in Scripture. And that's why evangelicals mm -hmm. take their Christian Christian principles to the ballot. Absolutely, box. they take it everywhere. They're linked. They take it everywhere. And there are 90 million evangelicals in this country. They represent about 50% of primary voters and about a general election voters. So you can't ignore them and expect to win an election. Okay. Now, Ted Cruz, you've endorsed him. I've endorsed like him as an individual, not representing any organization that I lead. Okay. Personally, you, endorsed Tony him. Perkins, right. you've endorsed uh, Ted Cruz. Now, he wears his Christian heart very much on his sleeve. And I suspect that that's not always popular in all sectors of America. Within the Republican Party, that's not necessarily popular. Stuart, that's interesting because just today, Pew, uh, this week, Pew released a poll that says 40% of Americans feel like their elected officials, politicians, should talk more about God and religion. That's up 10% from uh, 2012. I'm surprised. I thought America was turning a bit more secular, ever so gradually, more in our public life. I think it's because of President Obama, his policies that have really been hostile toward religious freedom and the expression of faith in the public square, that there's now a pushback. And people are pushing back, wanting to express their religion, not having to keep it within the four walls of their church, or simply in thoughts between their two ears. They want to live their faith, and that is really the mark of an evangelical. Uh, would you comment on President Obama, who today visits a mosque for the first time in his presidency? Well, this is, this is a part of the narrative from this administration, hostility toward Christianity, embracing Islam. Uh, and, and Americans are tired of it, evangelicals in particular, and I think that's feeding this desire to have a president who's not ashamed to be a Christian. That's why Ted Cruz, I think what we saw in Iowa was the, what I would call the Ted Cruz, the Ted effect, where we saw these dormant evangelicals, 26 million of them that did not vote in 2012, who turned out. We, we saw a huge uh, rush of new voters, new caucus goers, vast majority being yeah. evangelicals, and they didn't break for Donald Trump, as was predicted. They broke for Ted Cruz. Uh, of course, they're not going to have that level of support from evangelicals in New Hampshire, and certainly not South Carolina, probably. But you think he's going to win? I, well, he's I think he'll do well in New Hampshire. We, it's a different right. state, different makeup, but I think he'll do very well in South Carolina. Tony Perkins, anytime you're in New York, please come and sit next to me on the set, because we I'll, like it. I'll be happy to. Thank you, Tony. Good to be with you. <laughs>